Hello. Woo. I'm gonna drop my phone like immediately. Okay. That's how today is gonna be. Well, not gonna be. Today is like literally over. Um. Yeah. I did not do anything fun today. Um. Yeah, I got my car oil changed. Okay, so now I still have like a bunch of stuff is broken on my car. Um, well, basically, um, my oil needed to be changed bad. Like, I had almost no oil in my car left bad. Like, uh, that was gonna be ruining my engine pretty soon bad. Like, had I not gone to get that fixed today, it would have been bad, bad. <laughs> so, why are you not resealing? You are supposed to be resealable in just... Aha! Um, not spawn, sorry. I, uh, was trying to get snack ready, because, uh, my new job... Um, working in a bank, and uh, it's a pretty new position, like, they don't even really know what we're going to be doing, so, yeah, um, but, fun thing, um, they still have not even told us really what we will be doing, so, I still don't know, but I've been in several weeks of training and still have like two weeks of training left for stuff that I am never going to use. Isn't that exciting? They even let you know that like this is stuff that you're never gonna need because you're never gonna use it. So super happy about that. You can tell. Um yeah, and for those of you who do not know, this is my actual hair. I don't straighten my hair a ton just because it takes so long. I actually like my hair curly. It's not exactly much maintenance. Um, like it is and it isn't. When it comes to showering and after the shower care, then yeah, like it's a ton of maintenance because it takes... My showers are usually uh, like 40 minutes, if not longer, so I just have so much hair, and it takes forever to actually get shampoo and conditioner through it, and then, you know, everything else that you need to do in a shower, like shave, or wash your body, or face, or anything like that, so, um, and then I have to put, like, a non-frizz cream stuff in my hair, and then a spray, and so... And it takes like six hours to fully dry. And of course, I can't really sleep on my hair when it's damp because it's just really not comfortable. So I don't straighten my hair super often. There's like three reasons that I straighten my hair. One, because it's been a long time and I feel like doing it like, you know, it's been so long since I've straightened my hair. That's like super easy to deal with. I'm going to straighten my hair. Two, if... I have something planned and I think having straight hair is going to make things easier or look nicer. Like, um, I've done a couple of, um, modeling shoots, like, not bragging, but, like, kind of bragging. Um, and, uh, each time I straightened my hair because my hair is a pain for pictures uh, the curly hair, because, like, I can't deal with the flyaways and stuff, because they don't deal, they just continue to be like, ha ha, screw you, and so, um, at least straight hair, I can kind of try to smooth it out, or pull it back, or something like, trying to pull my hair back over my shoulder, it, it will kind of stay, but otherwise it will not stay, so, uh, pictures is kind of hard, so I usually straighten my hair for that, or, um, I don't know, just, couple couple reasons <laughs> I usually go longer without washing my hair too when it's straight um so I don't wash my hair every day you're not supposed to it's not actually healthy for your hair so I actually go a little longer when it's straight not watching it washing it which is weird because 
my hair is naturally curly and if you know much about curly hair it's really dry that's part of why it curls um and that's why when it's humid out you hear people with curly hair complaining about their hair and stuff is because the hair is soaking up all the humidity and that's what's making it poof is it's soaking it up and holding on to it like I'm so dry and parched just mm. yeah so um but because of that when my hair is straight the like the bit of oil that my hair or that my head tries to produce for my curly hair that you can't really tell because it's so curly and dry like my hair gets oily quick when it's straight. <laughs> I have like a dry shampoo and stuff, but like, whatever. It's it's just easier to go longer without showering with that because it doesn't get extremely knotted up and stuff. My curly hair, I can go a little while without washing it and it still looks almost the same. But it does start to get pretty knotted up or even if I have it in a ponytail or like a messy bun or something. Um, you can you can see that it's starting to get like knotted and ratty and yeah. Anywho. Um, <clears throat> yeah, this is, this is my actual hair. Um, not the color. This brown, this mousy brown is the natural color. And then from like here and lower is the colors that I get done and I have fallen in love with and so I'm probably going to just continue to do this color. Um, you know, I wonder if my new job actually lets you do fun colors. Part of why I have this color is I wanted to do a more bright and vibrant red, but my last job did not allow you to dye your hair in any color that was too unnatural. So even though, yes, this red isn't natural and it's obviously not natural, it still looks like closer to being natural. The vibrant red, however, does not look like it is natural. And so they wouldn't let me do that. So I ended up getting this, but I ended up like, I love having more than just the one color in my hair. And like, I like the blonde ends and stuff. It looks cool and ponytails and when I straighten it, it's really cool because then you can see the blend through of color um so I actually started like fell in love with this so I'm a little I'm a little sad at the same time because I'm like I'm not gonna dye my hair a different color now because I like this a lot but at the same time I want to do a vibrant red because <laughs> I think that would be cool looking um anyway I don't know if my new job Let's you. I'm trying to think if I've seen anyone in the building that I work in with like a crazy hair color. But I don't think I have. No. I don't think I have. And to be fair, it's a real big building, so I definitely haven't seen even like a fourth of the people who work in it. Um but it's banking and like not the stereotype people but it's a lot more serious and not so artsy and usually the people that color their hair fun colors like that are more like artsy I find like and of course that's not like a rule that's just kind of a generalization like from my experience most of the people that I personally know that have gone with vibrant colors like that are a lot more artistic people. So, I'll be honest, I don't know where I started with this. So, I know I was talking about the fact that I don't know what my job is going to be, which maybe that's where I left off, but it bothers me that I have no idea. And, uh, oh, that's right, the almonds. Um, I was getting those ready as a snack because basically, um, like I said, they're having us do training that we're not even actually going to use and it's pretty much just the basic training that, you know, basic bankers need. Um, and I'm not going to be 
basic banker, like, I'm actually going to be really high up in, um, in working with pretty much customer complaints, um, whether it's internal or external, but, uh, they're having us do basic training of, like, how to empathize or how to talk to someone appropriately, like, a whole bunch of stupid stuff that even the woman teaching us has let us know, like, you're really not going to use this stuff. It's like, then why are you wasting our time showing us this? That's what drives me insane. We aren't even going to know what we're going to be doing until, I think, week five of working there. And out of all of this training that we're going to do, the, like, four up to five weeks is going to be this basic ass training that has nothing to do with our job and then we will get a week of training for the actual job which some of it will be in class and then some of it will be sitting with someone like shadowing them and then it's straight to shoving you out on the floor which seems very backwards to me shouldn't it be like a week of the training that doesn't matter and is like a basic understanding and then the rest of it is training for your job <laughs> it's it is very stupid and it made me so happy to know I'm not the only one who felt this way at work because I was starting to think I was the only one in that classroom that's like really like why have we not been told what position we're actually going to be in and why have we not been working on that training it's just, it made me feel good validated in fact do you know I am not the only one feeling this way? <laughs> so, that made me pretty happy. But, um, I honestly, the only, so I don't think I can, I will stay at this job for long. Um, so here's the thing. The job itself, it seems like it'll be fine. Like, I'll be able to do it easy. Um, if it's going to be on the phone a lot, I'm really not going to be happy. That was specifically something I knew I didn't want to do. Like, when I was looking for a job, I had no idea what I wanted to do. But I did know I did not and do not and never want to be in, like, a phone bank kind of position. Like, the call center crap. I hate that stuff. I hate being on the phone. Like, I really don't like it. I, I need to like you a lot and have an easy time talking to you to want to talk on the phone. <laughs> like, I, I don't, I don't like it. I just, it feels like it's a waste of time. <laughs> I don't know why. Like, I'll have full long conversations in text and there will even be times where I'm like, we shouldn't be having this conversation over text because it's very hard to tell what your tone is. And I feel like I'm going to get upset over something you're saying because I'm reading it one way and you mean it a different way. But then I would rather just meet in person instead of calling them, which in some conversations you should be in person talking. But like, I don't know what my version is about the phone, but Every time I've had to call someone for a job, I secretly am sitting there hoping, like, don't pick up, don't pick up, don't pick up. Oh, crap, they picked up. Hi! Like, I hate that. I hate the fake phone voice. I hate all of it. I hate all of it. But that was specifically something I said I did not ever want to do. And they told me that this job would have limited to no phone calls. But the three areas that I've seen that you can work in in this position is pretty much letter writing, so helping customers um, and responding to them in letter form only. Um, and then there's the phone banking side where it's intake, where you are only ever on the phone. And then there's kind of the middle area of you have to make a call to every customer once, but if they don't pick up, then they don't pick up. You can respond in other ways then, um, which I'd rather do letter. I can sit there and listen to music and stuff while I'm working on writing back, but I'm going to run out of time here because I can only go up to 15 minutes because I'm not a verified YouTuber. So hopefully something more exciting tomorrow. Really probably not because I have absolutely nothing planned or as I at least had an oil change planned today.
but maybe I'll think of something to work on that you can watch me work on. I don't know. Wish me luck. <laughs>